Okay, let's do this. Let's play a blitz game. Pursue your opponent feels like a play this guy. Bunch of times. I'm gonna go with the Sokolsky opening. And why on earth would you pre move e6? I don't get it. Because on on ICC you actually get 15 seconds to make your move and you get that time back, so it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to pre move there. But that indicates to me that he's playing usually rather fast. Um, I want to take with the knight if I can. Ah, let's just take with the bishop. This setup is a little bit passive, uh, to be honest. Bishop d7, that allows me to try to go for tricks, which he doesn't fall for just yet, but we're not done. Queen c3, which is better, queen c3 or it shouldn't matter, shouldn't matter. Queen c3, e5, h4. Looks more compact on b2 for some reason. Let's go h4. Take this, I'm just gonna most likely go to a2. We're going for the king. Did I have 94? Why didn't I play 94? Isn't he just toast here? You can play king g7, okay? But then just keep going. g4. Trying to rip him open. I think I will win a piece here. Because rook h8, there's h6. You can play this move. Okay, I missed it, but doesn't matter. Queen takes e5, knight c6. Queen g5 type moves. Doesn't really change anything. He's still pinned. I will still take here. Bishop f5. Okay, I will take here. And you lose the queen if you're not careful. Check. Queen takes f6, there's uh, h6, not only losing the queen, but uh, with checkmate. So, the Sokolsky files. Yeah, so, on ICC, when you start a game, you can actually think for 15 seconds, and you get that 15 seconds back on the first move, so... Pre-moving here is uh, weird, to say the least. But okay, bishop b2, of course pressure here, so we can't take this. Place in f6, now the pawn is attacked, so a3 or b5. I played b5. And although we didn't get much developed, sometimes we get some space advantage on the queen side that we can use. It's not a completely stupid opening. I actually quite like it, especially in Blitz. So okay, plays d5, but uh, we do have control over uh, the black squares here, so we'll play knight f3 at some point. Let's see, next move, yeah. Excellent. Uh, actual... Uh, I had a word in mind. Accentuating the control. Is that a word? I think so. The control over e5. Okay, now c4. I don't really have this trick in mind. Cat took on c4 first, but bishop d7 just looks like a horrendous move. Okay, he must take, but this business here doesn't really matter. The rooks are out of the game anyway. And bishop d7 just looks horrible. You want your knight at some point at least on d7. Maybe yeah, play knight d7, maybe b6, bishop b7, but here, you c6, you're just setting yourself up for, for failure here with bishop d7. So knight g5. Suggest itself. And the trick here is h6. I capture on f6. There's mate here on h7. And you don't have time to do anything. This is still mate. Checkmate. Checkmate. And if you take this, you lose the queen. So what can you do? 
So that's why I want g6. And here I should have gone immediately. What did I play? Eight, four, no, I want, no, I want queen b2. Yeah. Good move. Queen b2. Bishop e7. And here I should have gone knight e4. Come on. Knight e4 here. We got this pin. This guy can't move. If he takes, there's mate on g7. Checkmate. If he covers g7 somehow, there's mate on h8. Checkmate. Yeah, checkmate, apparently. I think we can play this. Maybe he can defend here. Trying g5 now. He can't really do anything. Okay, he might take here and try e5. Maybe that's a better version if he like takes and plays e5. Okay. Well, he didn't really solve the problem. The problem still remains. I got this one coming. Well, you can take with the bishop. Yeah, yeah, okay. So maybe what I did was... Uh, let's see. H4. So yeah, we were thinking about this move. Here, here. And he takes. Then maybe I just play g5. He takes my piece, and I'll Check. take here. We can't really take because knight takes. We got a deadly... Uh, Discovery. Mm, yeah, must be winning. And if King somewhere I take, he's gonna get made it somehow, some way. So the G4 maybe h6. Oh, yeah, not taking b5, but play h6. I play h4. And now to stop g5, you can't really do anything except maybe g5 yourself, but. This just looks horrible. I can take here. I can even play rook h5 and then take here. I can even, uh, yeah, similar to. Well, no, it's not completely the same. I thought I could take take and rook h7 at the end, but okay, there are many ways to for white to get a winning position here. Maybe just this is the simplest way. Threatening mate on the next move. That looks fairly good. So what happened in, instead was that he uh, took on b5, played h5, trying to stop h5. That was my idea, of course, to play h5. But uh, it's just too much. This pin will decide, and yeah, I could have done it earlier, but okay. Finally, I realized, and I mean, if you take, rook takes. It's also this idea in some cases. Tried to uh, block me with e5, but unfortunately for him, I have check. this. And of course, the queen takes this check. h6 check. You lose control over the queen. And what's even worse, you're uh, more or less made it on the next move. This is the only defense, but check. it will be made on g8 or g7 next move. So, yeah, a nice quick win for the Sokolsky. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.